Hi, welcome to Spiritual Yoga. My name is Karen. Today's class is the second class of my Curvature Spine Series. We'll begin by laying on our back. Once you get there, invite your thighs towards your belly. Breathing in and out and then gently release. Continue at your own pace. Exhale into the pose and gently release. Palms facing the earth and lift your ankle to your opposite knee. And just gently invite your knee outward. You can stay here or hide your soul from the earth. And thread the needle. Breathing into the pose. Exhale and release. Let's take our practice to the other side. If you're comfortable here, remain here. Or come to the full expression of the pose. Breathing into the pulse. Inhale and exhale. This pose helps to align the hips and the pelvis inward, therefore reducing the curve in the lower back. Exhale and release. Place the palms into the earth. And gently glide your hips from the floor, activating both your abdomen and your glute muscles. And gently lower. Continue at your own pace. Important to activate your glute muscles here and your abdomen. to the back of your head, invite your elbows out and gently lift your shoulders from the floor. And continue at your own pace. Strengthening the core muscles is a great way to work at the lumbar region. Constant pushing of the lower part of the spine towards the earth along with the active use of the abdominal pelvic muscles helps to align the hips and the pelvic area. All these put together and when done repeatedly can act as a corrective measure for excessive inward curve of the lower back. Exhale and release. 
Inhale, bring your right arm to the back of your head. And lift the left leg, bringing the knee toward the chest. And rest this arm at your thigh if you like. Exhale and bring your right elbow toward your opposite knee. And continue this at your own pace. to the opposite side. Exhale, lift the head up, spin you at your own pace. This practice works on the core muscles while pushing the lower back to the ground. It helps keep the back muscles, both upper and lower, stretched and strong. This movement keeps the hips, pelvic, abdominal and the chest muscles active, reducing pain and discomfort at the lower back and making effective use of the chest and diaphragm. Tightening your abdominal muscles and your glutes. Rest and relax. One more time. Engage the core muscles while keeping a neutral position in the spine. This exercise strengthens the glutes and anterior core muscles. Relax and release. Exhale, steady yourself while placing one foot in front of you. And lift your torso up. Hands on your hips. Invite your hips forward while keeping the back upright until you feel the stretch. This will stretch the most powerful hip flexor muscle. Just return to starting position and continue this at your own pace, holding the stretch. And continue on the opposite side. Steady yourself or you take the other leg out. Gently invite your hips to go forward. Feeling the stretch. Continue a few times at your own pace. Exhale, 
Just hold for 20 to 30 seconds, repeat three to five times, several times a day. Last one. Let's gently come into a supine position. Tuck your arms out to a T and gently sway your knees to one side. If you like, you can turn your head to the opposite side to your knees. Breathing into the stretch. And come to the opposite side. And come back to centre. If you have a couple of blocks or a bolster, you can get them now. Lift your hips and come up onto your toes. Slide the blocks underneath or below your sacrum. Rest the hips on the blocks the feet on the floor or bouncing on the toes. Hold the blocks with both hands. Inhale, hold the blocks with your hands and raise your legs up. Keep your torso inclined, stretch your legs up. Might not see it very well, but you might be able to see my arch in the lower back. Namaste.